it always landed right along the LaSalle River. I mean, the Kankakee River. <laughs> every every iteration was that. So I kind of tried to go for the furthest that was the least forested area. Um, so let's cross our fingers. We have a 30-foot pole we can try out for the first time. Um, and um, so which means, by the way, I'm not sure what your requirements are. Um, with with flight, I mean, do you have to hit 100,000 feet, or is there anything? You just we want to get up there as, as quickly as possible if we can. Uh, you know, we'd, we'd like to see first. Oh yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, okay. Um, we, we just need to also have a, a five-minute warning for that takeoff. Oh yeah, we'll give time. you all that. Then. Yeah. Um, the reason why I asked is because what seemed to work best in the calculations was um, we're probably going to use a 1,200 gram balloon. And uh, so it's slightly lighter balloon because we want to burst about 90,000 feet. It might be a little earlier or so. So okay. anyway, but flight time should be, uh, ascent time should be uh, hour 20. So uh, we're going to try to ascend a little slower. That gives us a slightly longer track. That's kind of what we're looking for. So we're going to shoot for that. Um, and I'll make all that stuff clear when we're there. We're looking for about a four pound lift. If anybody's curious, uh, four pounds of lift. Um, so. I can make one last ditch attempt to maybe get a hold of Diego, and um, then we'll be on the way. Uh, we'll go grab the van. <laughs>